Welcome to the Deadly Addictions channel. Thank you for joining me everyone. Today I'm going to talk about social media. This will be the introduction for a section I'll call social media talk. It starts with my decision to come back into social media to engage again after a dark time and bout with depression. I had a plan and observed a lot before I came back and I'll go into detail in a separate podcast. But in general, I would think Facebook and Twitter would be the focus for the most part. I'm relatively new to YouTube, but I'll get to that too eventually. I don't think I have accounts with Pinterest or Snapchat. I might have hmm, Instagram maybe. I have Twitch also. And talk about the communities within. Since I was born in 1971, I've seen everything from the beginning in the realm of social media. When I started, I learned web coding on how to make the websites from code. But that's so far in the past now, I barely remember it. I have a couple things written down about the Facebook wars, which I like to call 2017 to 2019, where I got involved with many discussions and arguments, which led to family and friends unfriending and blocking. Now it's much better. My timeline or my page is much cleaner. And I'll probably get into that also. I'll talk about how I think Facebook is probably better for friends and family. You can discuss things and you want to show what you did with your kids and great for families to connect that way. And I think there are also bad aspects of social media that I'll discuss. Facebook, I don't think is made for deep discussions and um, arguments that could lead to a resolution. It never goes that way. Maybe if you have join Facebook groups where you're particularly looking for a topic and people who are interested in that type of thing. You can create your own, which I have, which is pretty interesting. It gives you a chance to set the parameters for what you want to talk about. You can set your own guidelines. Twitter, on the other hand, is great for promotion, to reach out to a wide audience around the world, some really knowledgeable, smart people. You can discuss things with. Um, but I don't see a, a point in saying that all these social medias or cesspools or this, they're all bad. I think I lean towards saying, for the most part, you get what you put in. So when I started in 2009 or 2011, let's talk about Twitter particularly real quick. I just started in the author community. I have a book, just came out. I'm going to do a Comic Con appearance. I link my Facebook to Twitter so I could post on one, it'll show up on the other. Never had an issue, no problems. Wonderful supporting community. Gives you a chance to reach out to some of your favorite authors and you decide who you want to follow, and it, it'll seem like a very good thing but there are darker aspects when you want to get into social justice warrior aspects religion atheism agnosticism theism lots of issues that are going on within those communities lead to a shit show of epic proportions what you call a cancel culture i guess Aspects like that, but I'll just say again, I think for the most part, social media is beneficial, more beneficial than hampering or uh, the, the bad negative effects of it. Although they're there, uh, I think people should understand what they are. So for Facebook, for instance, 
I think people, if you want to show your family stuff, it's all great. It's wonderful. When you want to share a fake article of a football team burning a flag in the locker room, and it's a total Photoshop, it's a lie, but hundreds of people are sharing it. Family members are commenting on it and tagging people in it. It gets to become ridiculous. So I guess that's where the idea to focus my creativity in certain sections, like I'm naming these, it lets me turn on the mic, give myself a little bit of therapy and just talk about a topic that's on my mind. It'll focus uh, the effort I put into it. And eventually I want to get better equipment, uh, get a camera, the whole nine yards. But these topics and these video podcasts that begin a section or a, a playlist, so to speak, will just give you a roundabout idea of what I think I want to do with them. I might put my Bigfoot podcast into it because that is mostly a rant on the Bigfoot community. I also have on my patron account a video I did on a podcast on the Non Sequitur Show, which is a YouTube show I loved and I had a small interaction with. I watched the downfall of it and hopefully I'm going to see the resurrection of it. I'll probably put that into that playlist, uh, this playlist also. And I have some things that I've documented and written down some of the tips I use. For instance, I open up a notepad or a sticky thing on the computer, or even a word program, and I'll type all my responses or all, all my posts in there. Take a breath and evaluate what I'm actually going to respond to or post. So there are tips like that how to navigate social media in a beneficial way, stay away from the more negative aspects. Although I don't think you could, I don't think you can avoid it totally. So be prepared for certain things. I had a couple of celebrity scams I'll talk about on, in a podcast. One was on Facebook and the other was on Twitter. So you got to be careful. Sarah Silverman uh, impersonator, I guess, tried to scam me on Facebook and Snoop Dogg was the Twitter celebrity impersonator. I'll talk about them, like I said, in other ones. I'll think about other things as they come up. They come up. I only have a little bit of writing on certain things. Like I said, this will be more of a spontaneous turn on the mics and get my ideas out I'll probably do like I said some research into the ones that I'm not on or the ones that I probably joined and never uh, fleshed out I probably have accounts but don't have all the details filled in because after my book came out I dropped off of social media for five years from like 2012 to 2017 basically just minor interactions I'll talk about that, and I think I'll keep these short, to the point. The topics I'll go into will generally deal with social media, for the most part. And if they tie in somewhat, but have other aspects, I might just I'll put them in a different playlist. I'm not sure how that's going to go, so I'm pretty new to this. I want to thank everybody for coming to visit the channel listening to some of my ramblings and take care until the next time. Thank you.